I would like to start today with some of my most frequently asked questions. I have done workshops for many, many years. I have many students and my most frequently asked questions concern patterns and how to keep your work straight. So to start off, I would like to say a word about patterns. Abbreviations are nice, and if you're looking at any pattern, may it be old or new, there is usually a guide to your abbreviation for your stitches. I have many old patterns that go back to the 1920s, 30s, 40s, and they are very straightforward. They don't give a lot of uh, um, possible mixed messages. They give you a start, a stitch pattern, uh, measurements, and then you go for it. I find them less confusing than current patterns that are available in books or on the internet. If you look uh, on the internet or some beautiful magazines also, be careful because in different countries, even so you may read your instructions in English, their stitches are different. Australia and England, Scotland, Ireland, all uses, uh, for instance, a single crochet may be a double crochet. It has a different meaning. So be sure before you start that you understand the abbreviations. Uh, another little trick that I have very often when I try to help someone with a pattern. This just happened earlier this week with Deborah. We are working on some Christmas stockings and the instructions were confusing because there were many different parts. So after we looked at the stitch abbreviations and reviewed those and made sure we were comfortable with them, then we went into the technique of creating the pattern. And it's very clearly sectioned off. We started with a cuff and I happen to have it right here because I worked along with Deborah. And the, the cuff directions were a slip stitch and it's set to go 14 inches long. And we did this and right then and there um, she was confused as far as what do we do now? How does, the, how does the cuff create itself? So we did the cuff, we sewed it together, and here's your cuff. And then it says turn it sideways and work along the edge of the cuff. So right here, step by step by step, it made perfect sense then to turn it and to start our leg part by working into the cuff. So sometimes I would encourage you if you get stuck uh, in a pattern or if it doesn't make any sense when you do it, go to a certain point and once you get to that point, even if it doesn't make any sense when you read it, it may work very well once you get to that point and you do your work. You put your stitches together and it says turn and work along the edge. Well, there's only one way to do it. So sometimes get started and see how far along you get and try not to get frustrated. Sometimes I just sleep over something when I run into a little bit of a challenge in a pattern that I create. 